If you don't have a cookie jar full of cookies, you're really limiting your potential in life. I first heard of this concept of the cookie jar through David Goggins. I read his book, Can't Hurt Me, which is like awesome. Actually, I didn't read it. I listened to it on audible.com, which is even better because on audible.com, at the end of each chapter, uh, David and the narrator discuss that chapter and they pull back the curtain a little bit and David digs a little bit deeper into what was going on when he wrote that chapter. So it's like um, a narration of a book and a podcast combined, which is like awesome. So I highly recommend the book. But what he talks about in the book is the cookie jar. And he talks about putting cookies in the jar. It's not a real cookie jar, but what Dave is talking about is the things you overcome in your life, the difficult challenges, the adversity, those things are cookies that you put in the jar. So with David, he overcome a he overcame a difficult childhood, an abusive childhood. He uh, had to try out for the Navy SEALs like three times. I think he's the only person that had to go through SEAL training three times before he became a SEAL. He's had to overcome a lot of things in his life. So what he describes as the cookie jar is when he overcomes one of these things, these difficult obstacles or difficult challenges, he puts the cookie in the jar. And the idea is when he's faced with a, a, a difficult challenge later on in life, he has a jar full of cookies that he can tap into, pull out the cookies and look at them and remind himself of what he did in the past. And he can leverage that to get over the next obstacle or achieve the next goal. I never really thought about the concept of a cookie jar, but I've sort of done the same thing in my life. I've, I've achieved a lot. I've gotten over 25 cybersecurity certifications. I've done like 22 Ironmans. But I think what's helped me achieve that number of cybersecurity certifications or achieve these things in life is I sort of have been keeping track of what I've done and the things I've overcome in my life. Uh, and I, I think one of the reasons why Can't Hurt Me resonates with me is David had to overcome a lot in his childhood. I had to overcome a lot in my childhood as well. And that was one of the you know, big cookies that went in the jar. With me, I grew up in poverty, in a trailer in Arkansas with a mother that was a drug addict. Uh, we were on food stamps. We were on WIC, which means you had to go to the government office and get this like block of cheese and, and um, powdered milk. We were on food stamps. So it was like, it was embarrassing and it was a, a difficult time for me, but for some reason, I decided to get out of that environment. And I worked really hard to get out of that environment. And I think the environment also gave me my drive. So that was one of the cookies was me getting out of the environment. I, so when things are tough, uh, and if I'm thinking like this Ironman triathlon is difficult or this cybersecurity certification is difficult, I have something I can fall back on to remind myself, and that's the cookie that's in the jar, to remind myself that I overcame something much more difficult than this goal I'm currently working on. Because as you know, with any, or probably as you've experienced, with any big thing you're trying to accomplish, any big goal or dream, you're going to get uh, obstacles coming at you from every direction, from each side, from beneath you, from above you. You know, everywhere you turn, there's an obstacle. So it's good to have some cookies in your jar to remind yourself of what you're capable of. And this process is, is, it builds on itself. So as you leverage the cookies you have in your jar to accomplish the next thing, the next thing becomes another cookie you put in the jar. So as you accomplish more, you end up with more cookies. And it's a good reminder that we are capable of much more than we think we, we are. And it's too easy to to, to not, if you don't, if you lose focus of this, this concept of a cookie jar, it's too easy to play small and think you're not able to do something or give up when the first obstacle hits you. So I, I think it's critical to, to put those cookies in that jar and leverage it to live up to your, your full potential. I hope you start collecting your cookies, reflect back on your life. I'm sure you've overcome some difficult things we all have and put those in your jar. The next time you're, you're faced with an obstacle or some adversity, 
or you need to per per persevere, pull out those cookies and remind yourself of really what you're capable of.